excited to be doing this look for you guys. It has been a hot minute since I have recorded a makeup tutorial for y'all and posted it up on here. So I'm super, super excited to be doing this one with you guys. So we are simply just going to jump right into it and get started. So I already have on my primer and I already have on my eyebrows. So for those of you that are always asking what product I literally use for my eyebrows, it's right here. It is the shade Dark Blonde. It is our Precision Brow Liner. Um, just so you all know, everything I'm using on my face product-wise is a Mary Kay product. Um, so from my primer to my skincare to my makeup, everything is all Mary Kay. So with all that being said, um, I my face is really pale compared to my neck. So I get spray tans really frequently. So it's a fun time but so we're gonna jump right into it so I already have on the eyebrows what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and prime my eyes so going in with our eyeshadow primer I'm gonna go ahead and this right there and right there and I'm going to tap tapping in the primer so whenever you are applying your primer, you want to focus mostly on tapping it into the actual skin of the eye. Um, because when you're all swipey, 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 it actually ends up kind of distorting what the eyeshadow will look like versus if you're just doing that same tapping motion, you're going to actually press the primer into the skin for the primer to hold onto the product. So this is our eyeshadow primer. I love it. I personally love it for many reasons, but <clears throat> ugh, it's fine. Um, the first reason why I love it is because it's like a more of a tacky paste feel. Um, and I love that feeling because I feel like I'm like, oh my God, it's actually going to grip the product. I'm like, hold on to the product. Um, so I've used some that are more like creamy based and I feel like my eyeshadow moves and like kind of disperses, which is kind of weird. Um, but that's just my personal, my personal opinion. So I love our eyeshadow primer because it is that tacky feeling. Um, and it's going to hold on to the product. So I'm grabbing my little petite palette that I have here. Um, and it has four different eyeshadows in it. So this is Toffee, Dusty Rose, Merlot, and Blossom. So these are four of my favorite eyeshadows. So these you three right here are the Dusty Rose, Merlot, and Blossom. You can get them all the time. Toffee is a limited edition. Um, so some consultants may have it and some consultants may not. So they don't. A great substitution is actually Sandcastle for it. Um, so you can always use that. So I'm grabbing my eyeshadow brushes. So... I think my mom got this. It says Pink Lips in Confidence. It's really, really cute. Um, I don't know where she got it from. It's a little dirty, but you know, it holds eyeshadow brushes and makeup brushes, so it's gonna get dirty. So I'm gonna go with something nice and flat like this. This is just a random eyeshadow brush that I've had for a while. I have a lot of brushes, guys. Some are Mary Kay, some are not. I'm very honest and I'm very transparent about that um, with, um, with it because I feel like that's important. So all I'm doing is I'm tapping into that toffee eyeshadow and I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my eye okay so I am just kind of doing like tap and pull motions if that makes any sense but I'm just kind of trying to pack on that eyeshadow onto the lid that is all I am simply doing right now okay perfect all so this look, I actually received a lot of requests on to make this video um, for this look specifically, which was kind of surprising, but I, they're like, please, and I was like, sure. So I had a lot of people respond to me about creating this. So um, here I am. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, just looking through, I'm gonna grab this guy. Just something nice and fluffy. This is a Morphe brush. This is the R33. Um, so I've had a lot of a lot of these brushes for a while now I actually probably need to replace them but just haven't haven't done it so I'm going to go in that dusty rose color right here I'm going to apply it and I'm going to tap off the excess and I'm going to start by applying on the outside and then working upward into the arch and then I'm going to begin the blending motion but I really want to make sure this color is nice and on there because one it's so pretty but two um it's such a good transition color and such a Simple color, but it can really make your eyes pop. Okay, so I'm just starting now that windshield wiper motion. So the back and forth, back and forth motion. Okay, so 
So next I'm going back in with that dusty rose and we're going to do the other eye. So like I said, I'm starting that packing motion first and working my way up like so. And then I'm going to buff it and windshield wiper motions. I'm making sure it's nice and blended. So nice and blended. But you guys are probably like, oh my God, you ha your background's different than before. So my beautiful and wonderful and amazing boyfriend, who is so sweet to me, for Christmas, it got me a new vanity. And so the new vanity actually would not fit where my old vanity was. So with that being said, we had to do a little rearranging of the room. And so now it's over here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna make sure this is all blended. So I'm just going to have something nice and fluffy and I'm just going to kind of literally circle and big buff motions just to make sure this is nice and even before I go in with that Merlot. Which looks like I got a little Merlot there, that's okay. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the Merlot color. I'm just going with something that's smaller and fluffier. So going that dark purple color right there, I'm gonna go in with it tapping and we're just going to focus on keeping that on the outside of the eye so I always like to kind of tap on the product first to make sure I got it on there and then kind of go in and blend it that is my personal preference so we're not adding a whole lot of Merlot onto the eye we're just focusing mostly on the outside And this is also another another great little tip too, guys, is to start with your eyebrows, move to your eyes, and then move um, out to your face. So, for example, if like all this excess, like you don't have to worry about like messing up or anything like that. Like you can just go ahead and clean it up with some concealer. So that's what's really nice about that. Okay, so I got it all on there. So like I said, going to go make sure this is all blended together. I got my little baby man. Oh, Nothing over everything. It's fine. You two can do my job. Do, 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 do. We're just making sure this is nice and blended together. Okay. Boom. Blending, blending. Okay, now I'm going to go in back with this flat brush and add a little bit of toffee up in her. Up in her. Boom. This eye looks a little bit darker than the other, so this is what we're going to do. We're just going to add on that Merlot. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to go ahead and do next is my eyeliner. I am using our liquid eyeliner pin. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do next is clean up that eyeliner and all of that extra. So excess eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm using the shade Light Beige and I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and clean that up. There we go. So I'll be concealer down her, we'll move it on her. Perfecto. So that is literally how you can clean up your concealer or use concealer to clean up all your eyeliner, your eyeshadow, all of the things. And I'm just gonna grab my baby beauty blender and tap that right now. All right, and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and do my color correctors, okay? 
So I'm grabbing my under eye corrector and then my two sticks. I'm grabbing the green stick and the purple stick. So the green sticks to cancel all this redness I have. Purple is to kind of pick up different spots that are highlighted on your face. And then the under eye corrector goes right underneath the eyes. So going in with my under eye corrector first. Swipe, swipe. Don't need a whole lot of that bad boy. It is fabulous though. So I'm gonna go up top and kind of put some here, here in the nose, cupid's bow, basically anywhere I'm gonna put the highlight, you wanna put the purple stick, okay? And then I'm gonna go, go in with the green stick. Cancel out brightness. And I'm gonna go in with that Bamba the blender and tap it out. Tap, 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 tapping and tapping. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm using the shade Beige N190 because that is my spray tan foundation. Okay. We're going to go up here. Oh, got something right there. It's fine. It's fine. It's so crazy looking, but it's okay. We're going to go in and we're going to blend out this. Okay, so after that, we are going to go ahead and apply our concealer. I'm using the shade Light Beige. I'm going to go right here, here, and here. A little bit of a heart. Heart in here. And over here. A little bit of a heart. And we are going to blend out all that. Going with that Baby Beauty Blender, tapping and blending. Tapping and blending some more. Okay. We're gonna go underneath the eye to highlight underneath the eye. We are concealing. Conceal, don't feel. Blending and blending and blending. Bean. So next you can always add in liquid contour if you want to. You can just go straight powder. Totally up to you. I am going to actually go ahead and go in with just a translucent powder. Um, so you can always do a contour with um, the liquid and then set it with the powder or you could always do contour liquid powder and then powder contour um, but just for sake of today I'm just going to do the translucent powder and then do the powder contour. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to grab my base brushes right here. And this little guy says contour and confidence. It's really cute. So my mom got a bunch of these for me. So I'm going in with just something like this right now and I'm gonna go ahead and tap that underneath of my eye. All right, so we just are tapping that, and now I'm gonna go in with something big and fluffy. So this Morphe brush has a name, but its name is now gone. So I'm so sorry if you're like, I need to know that brush name. I don't know. I can probably find it online for you. So now I'm just tapping in the translucent powder with a big fluffy brush, and this one's is an E1. That one's still going. 
Morphe years ago did a um, did a brush club. It was like twenty dollars a month, and you got like thirty dollars worth of brushes. Well, <laughs> I did that for like a year and a half, so I have like a crap ton of brushes now, which is great. Okay, so just tapping all of that translucent powder into the face, just making sure we're not having any movement going on. Okay, so we are going to complete the eyes with the eye shuttle and we're going back in with this little baby palette and I'm going to grab just something nice and dainty so I'll probably go in with this yeah I'll go in with this. this is a Morphe something 30 33 36 I can't really read it it's gone E36. Haha, -ha, this is an E36. I'm going in with that dusty rose color. Oh, we're going to just put that underneath of the eye. Okay. So next, we're going to go in with mascara. Okay. So, mascara I'm using is Lash Love, one of my personal favorites. So the next step I'm going to do, just make sure my eyelashes are nice and dark. I'm going to go in with our black eyeliner and lift up the eye and go underneath that waterline. Boom. Okay, so before we apply our falsies, we're gonna go ahead and finish up our face. So I'm gonna go in, not with that too far long, I don't need y'all. I'm gonna go in with this palette. So this palette right here is awesome. Clearly it needs some love and needs some replacing, but guys, there's still so much product left in there. Wow, wow, wow. Right, so I'm gonna be mixing these two bronzers right here, Gilded Glow and Copper Glow. I'm gonna mix them together and apply them right here. I'm just using a dense brush. I don't even know the brand of this brush, to be honest. I want to say it's an It Cosmetics brush, but I don't even know the number for you guys. I've had my brushes for a long time. Maybe time to replace them. Like I said, I just haven't done it. Okay, so I'm literally just tapping this bronzer along the outside of my face right now to create the contour. The contour. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in with this bad boy. This bad boy, I don't know if it, the name's on here. Nope. Sorry, guys. This is a Morphe brush. I will tell you that, and you can probably find it, but it's a little angle guy. Mixing those two same bronzers, I'm going to contour my nose. So, we're going to go upward, and we're going to go over here, and we're going to go over here. contouring the nose and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna underline the bottom lip okay and now I'm gonna go up top and contour my upper lip okay now to clean that up so you don't look like you have a stash blend baby blend just creates that slight shadow when in doubt, ladies, blend. Blend. Okay. So next, I'm going to go on my blush palette. That's right. I have three palettes. It's fine. I have an eyeshadow, a blush palette, and a contour palette. But it's fine because it works for me. So I'm going to go in with this little color right here. It's called Hint of Pink. It's really cute. Really, really cool. Tapping. Tapping. 
and applying this all over the cheeks like so and then to go in for the finalization of the face of applying products we're gonna go in and highlight I like to look like a disco ball personally, so I'm gonna go with something really dainty like this. And these two little eyeshadows over here are what I used to highlight. These are crystalline, crystalline, how do you wanna say it? I don't really know. And mitten stone. So I'm gonna go here on the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, cheekbones, and then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my inner corner. I'm gonna go on the same brush that we used for Dusty Rose, so just make sure you clean off that extra product. I can't remember if I did this in the picture that I posted of this look, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it today just to show it a little bit of that. So I'm just gonna highlight the inner corner just a little bit. You can always actually use the Light Beam Eyeshadow, Liquid Eyeshadow, and put it in there and then mix these two shadows together and it gives a really beautiful like inner corner highlight. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do is highlight my brow bone. I'm going to go back in my baby petite palette and I'm going to use the shade Blossom, which is that really light color at the end. And I'm just going to go with something flat and dainty like this, tap it, and we're going to put that up top. Put that up top. Okay. All right. So this right here is the entire face look. Now I'm going to add falsies on real quick and so I can show you guys that look so I want to show you guys the difference between this and falsies so I will be right back but see how like it just is it's like okay cool simple easy everyday kind of thing maybe I don't know I uh, Valentine's Day whatever you want to do for it um this is a great Valentine's Day look but I want to show you guys the difference between with lashes and without lashes so I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna show you guys what lashes can do for you so I am back. So I applied my falsies on and literally like the difference is in, it's insane. Like it's cool. It's cool. So we guys, we are finished up this look with our lippies. Um, so we are going to be using three different products. So we have our light nude lip liner, our pink up let me try that again. We have our light nude lip liner, pink ballerina lip gloss, and let me pink lipstick. So the first thing that we're going to do is line our lips. So I'm going to go into that light nude lip liner. Next, we're going to go in with the lipstick in the Love Me Pink. Okay. And to finalize the look is our Pink Ballerina Lip Gloss. These are brand new lip glosses and they are amazing. They're buttery, creamy, and they smell so good. what's up so to top everything off completely we're going to do our finishing spray it's the very last thing i always like to do this is a brand new bottle so oh, okay i like finishing spray guys so we are going to make sure it's all nice and even and melted but yeah guys so this is the entire look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions comments concerns on any of the products i use please let me know I am here to help you guys and assist you. Um, with all that being said, I am a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. So if you see any products that you love and you don't have a consultant, please feel free to message me or shop my website link down below. Um, and if you currently have a consultant, guess what? We follow the golden rule in Mary Kay. So if you have a consultant already, she's access to the same products that I have access to. So these aren't some special things that I get. She actually receives them as well. So feel free to message her and get those too. Um, so you guys can get all of the things for sure. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to y'all later and I'll see y'all next time.